It doesn't matter when you decide to start your fitness journey or if you've taken time off for an injury or family obligations. Here at VShred, we believe there's no time like right now to get started for the first time or get started again. Getting started with fitness can seem overwhelming. So today we have seven tips to set you up for success. Number one, set realistic goals and start small. Expecting to lose 25 pounds in a month is not sustainable. And in the long term, you're more likely to gain them back and then some. It's generally recommended to lose one to two pounds a week for sustainable weight loss. Some weeks you may lose more and some weeks you may lose less. It's okay, it's all part of the process. Say you want to lose 20 pounds. Knowing you should aim to lose the recommended two pounds per week, we can safely say that to lose those 20 pounds, it will take you roughly 10 weeks. That's a realistic goal. It makes those 20 pounds seem like a much easier task to lose. To make this process easier, focus on incorporating small changes into your lifestyle. Take the stairs instead of the elevator or swap sugary drinks for water or diet sodas. Those little adjustments will add up to significant results over time. Number two, focus on nutrition. Maybe you've heard the saying, weight loss is 80% nutrition and 20% exercise, or abs are made in the kitchen. Those sayings are 100% true. Focusing on nutrition and making healthier food choices will not only support your weight loss goals, but also improve your overall health and well-being. A balanced diet consists of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats with every meal. That balance helps regulate your blood sugar levels, keeps you feeling full and satisfied, prevents overeating, and provides energy for you to tackle your workouts. A balanced diet doesn't mean you have to cut out everything you love eating. Here at VShred, we believe you can eat your favorite foods and still lose weight. If you're interested in finding out more or learning more about our custom meal plan options, check out the link in the description where you can work one-on-one with a VShred coach to create your entirely custom plan where you get to choose the foods you want versus the ones you don't. Number three, prioritize consistency. Start small and build the habit of consistency. When you're first starting out, it's unreasonable to think that you're going to make it to the gym for an hour, seven days a week. But taking a 15 minute walk first thing in the morning or after dinner is a much easier thing to commit to. When starting your journey, you want to find forms of exercise you can remain consistent with. Taking a walk every morning or night is a great way to initially carve out time for yourself and your new goals. When that becomes habit, you can either extend the walk or do a HIIT workout at home in that 15 minutes. If you need inspiration or routines to follow, we have a whole collection of short HIIT workouts on our channel for you to check out and follow along with. Number four, find enjoyable forms of exercise. Some form of exercise is better than nothing. Find something you enjoy and make it a habit. Maybe you love walking or enjoy running. Biking, swimming, hiking, even dancing are great forms of exercise that people love and have fun doing. When starting your journey, it's important to do something you enjoy. If you don't love it, you won't do it. Fitness shouldn't be a chore, unless you're dancing while vacuuming. Fitness should be something you enjoy. Don't be afraid to try new things until you find something you love. Number five, sleep. Sleep is essential. Lack of sleep can disrupt hormones that regulate hunger and appetite, making it harder to lose weight. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night to support your weight loss efforts and help you recover from your workouts. Creating a nighttime routine where you can wind down from the day and get some solid shut-eye is a great way to begin prioritizing your sleep. I promise, after a solid deep eight hours of sleep, you're going to feel great. Number six, think of setbacks as speed bumps don't be too hard on yourself. Understand that setbacks are a natural part of any journey. Think of them as speed bumps. They only temporarily slow you down. You might get sick or have a kid that gets sick and you miss a workout. Or maybe you have work late and all you wanna do is get home and eat and go to bed. That's okay. It's not the end of your journey and it's not the end of the progress you've been making. If you slip up or miss a workout, don't dwell on it. Instead, focus on what you've been doing right and then get back on track tomorrow. Finally, number seven. Find a support system. Going to the gym or looking at a meal plan for the first time can be intimidating for anyone. That's why we encourage you to find a support system of friends and family members that will hold you accountable to your goals, maybe even cook with you or go to the gym together. This could be someone that might even have the same goals as you or someone you meet on social media that you can connect with and push each other. Find someone or a group of people you can lean on when things get hard or you want to share your progress photos with. Here at VShred, we have a community of people experiencing the same success and setbacks as you. Sharing your wins and struggles is a great way to connect with others and build a support system you can lean on when you need encouragement. When starting your journey, everything can seem overwhelming. Take each one of these tips and incorporate them one by one until they become a habit. Remember, 
V-Shred is here to support you wherever you are in your journey. Check out our link in the description to find the right plan for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to take your fitness journey to the next level, take our free 30-second metabolic assessment today. Discover your personal metabolic score to receive a game plan complete with simple tips to help boost your metabolism. Be sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below with what you want to see next from us. All right, you guys, we'll see you on the next one.